Oh boy, look what came in the mail today, you guys. I am so excited to try out this collection. I cannot wait to put all these things on my face. This is the new Lux Legacy Collection from Jaclyn Cosmetics. It was created with Jaclyn and her mom, which I think is the sweetest thing in the world. I actually spent like an hour earlier watching the video about this collection and them together. And her mom is like so stunning and seems like the sweetest human being in the world. So first of all, the PR package is insane. It's so gorgeous. Thank you so much to Jaclyn Cosmetics for sending this to me. There is so much to try in this collection. So here's what it looks like on the inside. I can't even fit it in the whole screen. It's crazy. So we have an eyeshadow primer. This is what I was the most excited about. This is the first eyeshadow palette for Jaclyn Cosmetics. I'll get into it in a bit. We've got five eyeliners, four different liquid lipsticks and matching lip liners. We also have face powders. They sent me two shades, but there's more than two. And then a setting spray. So we have a lot to go through and we're not gonna waste any time. So first I wanted to show you, cause I thought this was so cute as well. So this is the eyeshadow palette. It's the Lux Legacy eyeshadow palette. This is the typical packaging. So they said this is gonna be available through Ulta and Morphe. And then exclusively on JacquemCosmetics.com is a different packaging. It's the same exact palette, just different packaging that is perfect for Mother's Day. It's the Dear Mom packaging. But again, it's the same palette on the inside. And I think this packaging is so beautiful and so cute to give as a gift. So you do have two options as far as packaging goes. This entire collection launches on the 24th, which is tomorrow if I'm posting this on Saturday. I'll have all the details in the description box down below. Let's dive into the palette. So on the inside, and I'm gonna be using the like regular packaging today. It has this really cool lifted logo on the front and then here is what it looks on the inside. So it is a cardboard packaging. You also get a logo here. There is no mirror, but since it is such a large palette, I actually don't mind that. I feel like I could definitely just use it sitting on my desk and I'd be fine without a mirror. So here's the palette on the inside. There are plenty of mattes and then a few shimmers. I will have the video linked down below where Jacqueline talks about the entire collection. She created it with her mom, so obviously they can explain it better than I can, but I'm so excited about this palette, you guys. So this retails for $49. There are 20 shades and they do kind of lean a little bit more cool tone. There's a mix between, like some of them are more neutral undertones, but I am such a cool tone eyeshadow girl. So I'm like extra excited to try this. I'm first gonna swatch everything on my arm so you guys can see just what everything looks like before I start creating a look. I'm gonna swatch the palette in two parts because I don't think I can fit all 20 shades on my arm at once. So here's the first row. We've got meat and potatoes, biscuit. These two kind of blend into my skin tone, so <laughs> I don't know if you can see it very well, but this is biscuit, this is honey, this is peanty butter, farm girl, thankful, French silk, apple pie, Family AF and Tootsie. So those are the first two rows. I've been so curious to see how this formula compares with the Jaclyn Morphe formula. Obviously, I don't think they are the same or could be the same because it's different brands. And it will depend on how they apply to the eyes, but so far, they're not as buttery to the touch compared to the Morphe Jaclyn palette. They're still buttery, but you know how some of the Morphe Jaclyn shadows kind of almost feel like they're melting into your finger when you swatch them. That's not the same feeling that I'm getting here. It's more of a dry formula and that's not to say it won't perform well. I'm just kind of like, you know, trying to describe it to you. But these neutral mattes, I'm so excited to play with. I also love how there's hints of green in this palette. Okay, these darker mattes are swatching really beautifully. So here's the second two rows. We've got Small Town, So Ucky, Pudding Girl, Rachy, Bad Mousy, TC, Mamacita, Moo, Buddy, and Because I Said So. So those are the last two rows. This shade is so gorgeous, same with this shade. And also this one, I'm really excited to try. So let's create an eye look. I of course wanna try out the eyeshadow base that Jacqueline's mom created. So this is the first base eyeshadow primer. In their video, Jacqueline explained that she normally just uses concealer, but her mom doesn't like to use concealer because she has more mature skin. And sometimes when it dries down, it kind of like emphasizes the texture there. And so this is supposed to be a little bit more of a sheer, barely there as far as the opacity goes with this, but it's supposed to help, you know, prevent your eyeshadow from creasing and all that. It's described as a sheer translucent formula that dries down matte and visibly smooths the look of your skin so your eyeshadow looks last, and this is $20. So let's just go ahead and, and apply this. Here's what it looks like 
from the applicator. You guys know I'm very familiar with my NARS eyeshadow primer. That's what I typically use, but it does have a lot more pigment to it. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is pretty runny. It's a very wet feeling primer. So I'm just gonna use my fingers to blend that out all over the lids. It's canceling out a little bit of my discoloration, but it's definitely not visible on the eyelids, which I think is actually nice because sometimes you don't want to have that super thick layer of a product on your eyelids, but you might still want to wear eyeshadow even if it's more of a subtle look. So I'm hoping that this will really be a go-to for me for looks like that where I don't feel like I need to completely cancel out everything on the lid. It's a very, very blendable, smooth formula. A little bit goes a long way. It's like blending all across my lid and there's still plenty of product to work with. Ooh, I really like the texture of that. I haven't actually ever tried an eyeshadow primer with quite this texture before. A lot of them are usually much, much more thick. That feels really good on the eyelids. I honestly immediately wanna dip into So Ucky. This is a gorgeous, cool tone brown. So I'm gonna pick that up on my eyeshadow brush, tap off the excess. It actually, okay, so the eyeshadow primer did dry down. More matte, like it said, it does have a bit of grip to it, which is nice. Let's see how these blend on top. So I'm just gonna start throwing this into the crease. I wanna use this as my transition shade. So I'm just gonna start building this up in the crease and a bit above. Okay, these are blending beautifully on top of that eyeshadow primer and I actually love how well it's blending. See, that's the thing about shadows that are a little bit less buttery. Sometimes they blend better, you know, because it doesn't grip to your eyelids fully. So this is actually blending like a dream and is turning out to be really buildable, which I feel like the formula would suit beginners as well because of that, which I think is really nice. Okay, that is so pretty. Next, I really wanna try out the shade next to it. This is called Small Town. So I'm gonna pick that up on a more dense brush and I'm gonna start creating a bit of definition on the outer corner using this shade. And then I'm just gonna blend it into the crease to further define that. Okay, I'm gonna dip into the shade Apple Pie. When I saw the swatches on Jacqueline's video, this is one of the shimmers that I was like, I really wanna try that. So I'm gonna take this on my fingertip and I'm going to Swipe this onto the lid. Oh my. Wow, that's very, very pigmented. And this one actually does feel quite buttery. I'm just gonna apply that all over the eyelid. I'm just taking the brush we were using before and just kind of blending that shimmer shade into the crease a little so there's no harsh edges. I wanna deepen things up here. So I actually think I'm gonna go into the matte shade below Small Town, which is called TC. I'm loving all these cool tone browns. I just wanna deepen up this outer corner even more. So I'm really focusing that on the outer V of the eye, blending it into that champagne shade that we just applied. I'm gonna take more of a flat detail brush and I'm gonna dip into the shade French Silk. And I'm wanting to create a nice, really distinct, almost cut crease right here on this inner portion of the eye, blending it down into the apple pie color, but I just want it to be a little more precise there. And I love this kind of pink undertone in this shade. So I really wanted to create a little bit more dimension using this. Wow, that's so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that down to the inner corner. I'm dipping into the shade Honey, which is one of the top matte eyeshadows. It's this one, it has a little bit more of a pink undertone. And I'm using that to just highlight my brow bone a bit. I love this eye look. I know it's not, you know, any of the greens in here or too smoky, but honestly, I really like the direction it's going. So I'm gonna leave it here. I just think these colors and tones are so wearable. I'm actually really excited about the eyeliners. I'm not a massive eyeliner wearer. However, these shades are very intriguing to me. So these are the inline eyeliners. Again, there are five shades. These are $18 each. First up, we have a smooth black. This is what the shade is called, which is a matte color. I'm gonna swatch these for you. So here's smooth black. We've got smooth black brown, which is also a matte. Ooh, these are really smooth. As I'm swatching them, they're really, really nice. So there's the black brown. I don't think I have a color quite like that. That's nice. We have smooth bronze, which is the only shimmer shade in the bunch. Oh, I picked up the wrong one. Okay, we're gonna do smooth charcoal since that's the one that I'm swatching. This is pretty, ooh. So this is also a matte, smooth charcoal. Now we're gonna do the bronze. Yes, this is smooth bronze. This has a little bit of a shimmer to it. It's very, very subtle shimmer, but it's there. So there's the bronze. 
And then the one that's very unique is called Smooth Blackberry. It's also a matte formula. Wow. And it's got like a nice purpley red undertone. That's pretty. So here are all the eyeliners lined up together. I'm excited to try these out. Oh my gosh, as they dry down, it's getting harder to rub them off. They're supposed to be very long wearing, which I feel like we all look for in an eyeliner. So that's good to know. Hopefully it lives up to that hype. I really wanna start off with the smooth charcoal shade. And I'm gonna take this on the inner portion of the eye. And I'm gonna to start to create definition from the inner corner to about halfway across my eyelid using the smooth charcoal. Fun fact, I used to wear gray eyeliner all the time, like in high school. I had this gel gray eyeliner that I would wear and I loved it. So this is kind of taking me back. Wow, I love how the gray looks. I'm now gonna take the smooth black brown and finish out that line. So I'm gonna kind of hover over like halfway and start to blend that into the gray and then move it out toward the very edge of my lash line. I don't think I'm gonna do a wing or anything. I'm just gonna stop it at the end of the eye. Those went on really well. I love the colors. I don't think I own anything quite like that, which is always fun. I'm gonna go ahead and apply top lash mascara. I'm gonna use my Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara. And I'm gonna be generous with the lashes today since we have a little bit more of a glamorous look going on. I'm now taking a makeup wipe and just cleaning up any fallout. Honestly, there was not much fallout at all. I'm just gonna take my fingertip and tap out the edges so that it's not too harsh. Okay, I'm moving straight into foundation. I'm using my current favorite NARS foundation. I'm using my NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum for underneath the eyes. This is my current favorite foundation and concealer combo. It's just flawless, I'm obsessed. Okay, now we get to try what I feel like I am also the most excited about besides the eyeshadow palette. This is what I feel like the hype is already around are the setting powders. So let me grab the setting powders out of the package. So like I said, they sent me two out of the six shades. So I've got Sheer Fair, which I feel like I will probably use, and then Sheer Light. So these are called the Powder Move Setting Powders. They're $30, here's the packaging. You see Jacqueline and Robin, which is her mom's name, and then the classic J logo. Um, this is supposed to blur and smooth the appearance of skin while setting makeup with a soft focus finish and a subtle radiance. It has a little bit of a protector here. I'm so excited to try this. Jacqueline was raving about this in her video. So I'm just gonna pat this into the cap so I have enough. Okay, let's try this out. I'm gonna take a little bit of this on my favorite little powder brush and I'm going to just press this underneath the eyes. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there is a luminosity to it, but it's just the right amount. It's not too much at all. Like, can you see that? It doesn't look like I have powder on, but my face is set or my under eyes are set. It's a very sheer formula, so um, the fair color is not changing or altering my complexion or my concealer, which is nice. I'm gonna take that through the T-zone. And then I always like to take a larger powder brush and I'm just gonna stamp that into the rest of the face. You can see the sheen that it gives. It's so pretty, but it's not heavy whatsoever. Oh my. Yeah, this is really, really pretty. Woo, I keep doing this, you guys. I keep completely showering myself in setting powder. It's, this happened in the last video too. I just get too excited, I think. Okay, that is so pretty. You guys know I am a huge believer in setting powder. I feel like I personally need setting powder for just my base makeup to last all day. And so I always powder my entire face, but it's nice to have a formula that has a finish that's a little bit more luminous. It's not over the top though. Look how pretty. Oh my. Oh, I'm excited about this. I am gonna take my sponge and just press that down into the skin. Look how fresh that looks. And it truly feels like locked down, but weightless. Hmm, I'm excited, oh my, okay. I'm gonna use my bronzer that I've been using all the time these days, and that is the Gucci bronzer. I just love this for the undertone. I think it's so flattering for me. This is the shade 01, and I'm gonna just warm up the base using this. I had initially picked out a highlighter, but I don't even think I'll use a highlight today just because that powder gives me such a pretty sheen and luminosity. And it's subtle, but still like really natural looking. I guess that's kind of the same thing. <laughs> natural and subtle, you know what I mean though. It's there though, like I don't feel like I would need a highlighter 
if I wanted just like a more natural looking glow. Okay, I'm just brushing up the brows. And now we're gonna move to the lower lash line of the eyes. So apparently the shade Smooth Blackberry is gorgeous in the waterline. So I wanna try that. I'm gonna start off my lower lash line by putting this in the waterline and then we'll kind of build off of that. So I'm just applying this to the waterline. <gasps> Ooh, that's a really, really cool color. Wow. It's definitely making the green in my eyes really pop. Ooh, fun. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the black brown liner and I'm just gonna create a little bit of an outer corner using this. I'm not going into the waterline, I'm going in between the lashes and I kinda wanna see how these would smudge out. Oh, nice, yeah, they smudge out really beautifully. So if you're into that, you do have a minute to work with them before they really lock down, which is nice. Now I'm gonna take smooth charcoal and go on like the inner portion of the eye and then just blend that into the black brown. Okay, now I feel like I can layer some of the eyeshadows on top. So I'm gonna take TC, which is this shade right here, and I'm gonna smudge that on the outer third of the lower lash line right over top of the black brown liner. Then I'm gonna dip into apple pie, which was that really pretty golden shade that we used earlier on the lid, and I'm applying that across the inner half of the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna dip into French Silk, which is that really pretty pinky champagne color. And I'm gonna kind of complete the inner corner highlight and I'm gonna drag it into that apple pie color on the lower lash line. I'm just taking my powder brush and dusting away any fallout. And then I'm gonna take So Ucky, which was the shade we used on the top lid as a transition. And I'm gonna use that as a transition on the lower lash line. Just kind of buffing that right underneath all the other shadows connecting it to that outer corner. I think that's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to apply the Bite Beauty Mascara on the lower lashes. Okay, I'm really loving my eye look. It's so timeless, like these colors are very, very wearable, but I also feel like it's a very sultry look. It flatters my eye color. I'm excited about this. I'm taking off any foundation that's on the lips. I am gonna put a little blush on, and then we'll try out the lip colors. I'm gonna take my current go-to blush, which is Pat McGrath Flirtatious. I think this would look great with the eye look. This has a little bit of a sheen to it as well. So between this and the setting powder, I really don't feel like I need highlighter. I feel like my skin looks so luminous, but not too over the top, which I love. Now we're gonna try out the liquid lipsticks and lip liners. So this is the Pout Spoken Lip Liner, which I love the formula of this. And then also the Pout Spoken Liquid Lipstick. So these are existing formulas, just new colors. And Jacqueline's mom is really into cool tones and so she wanted more cool toned pink colors, which I'm a fan of. So I'm really excited to try this. We're gonna start off by swatching the shade Hope. So I'm gonna do the liner and the lipstick side by side and then I will apply it to my lips so you can see it on me. So here is the Hope Lip Liner and the Hope Liquid Lipstick. I do feel like the lip liner is a slightly lighter and more peachy color compared to the liquid lip, but let's try it on. Oh, maybe not. Once it's blended out, it's pretty similar. I'm gonna use my finger to tap this into the lips. So there's Hope. This is a very, very light color. I'm gonna let it dry down so you can see like the final color because sometimes they deepen once they dry down. This for me is too light to use by itself. I know some people love that like muted pink lip. So for some people, this might be something that they use like this. For me, I like to have a little bit more depth and dimension on the outside of my lips with lip liner. Um, but I do tend to use lighter colors like this to brighten up the center of the lips. So I could see myself doing that, but I don't know if it's like gonna be a go-to for me um, by itself. It's a little too light for what I'm used to on myself. But again, I know some people really like this kind of a vibe. So again, that's Hope. Let's go ahead and try the next shade. This next color is called Faith. It looks like a little bit more of a bright pink liner. Ooh, pretty, okay. So I swatched them on my hand. So here's the next color. This is Faith. Still very similar, but a little bit deeper. So let's see how this looks all over the lips. Okay, so here's Faith on the lips. It's a bit deeper than the first color, but it is still very much a light bubblegum pink. So similar family, but it's a little bit more of a punchy, bright color. I think this one's pretty too. I think it's throwing me off with my eye look. I think if I had something a little bit more subtle on the eyes that I would be able to pull this one off a little bit more than I am. I'm trying to cover it up. Like, see, that's really pretty. 
I think that's a fun light pink. It's still a little bit too light for me with that matching lip liner. So I would definitely ground it with a little bit of a deeper lip liner, but that's just me. Um, but I do like this one better than the first one for sure. All right, next up, we're gonna try Sweetheart. This already looks like one that I will like. So here, this one is swatched. We've got the liner and then the lipstick right here. And let's see what it looks like on. Okay, this one's already a yes from me. I feel like this undertone really flatters my complexion and it's so beautiful, especially moving into spring and summer. I don't think I have a color quite like this. <gasps> I like this one. I really like this color. It still throws me off a little bit with the eyeshadow look that I created, but if you could imagine it by itself with like just bronzer on the eyes and the mascara, I think this would be so pretty. Ooh, that's definitely my favorite so far. Last but not least in the collection, we have the shade Love. I'm running out of room here on my hand, but this one looks really pretty. This one's like a true rose. Okay, I kind of ran out of space, but this one has a lot more of a rosy undertone. It's very pretty. It almost has more red in it than the others. It's gonna be more of a bold lip on me, so I'm excited to try this. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. I don't wanna wash this one off. This one's too pretty. My lip lines are starting to get a little sloppy from wiping off all the lip colors. Okay, that is actually so pretty. Wow, I love this color too. I don't have something like this either, I feel like. So those are all of the shades swatched on my hand. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off my hand so that I don't accidentally get it on my clothes. But I hope you found it helpful to see them side by side and then also see them on me. I feel like it makes such a difference to see when people try on the colors versus just an arm swatch. This one makes me feel fancy. I know it's kind of like, you know, very glam with this eye look, but I'm actually really into it. Like the more I look at it, I was going to switch it back to the original shade that I love the most, which was Sweetheart, but I actually think I might keep this one. I wonder what it would look like to put a little bit of Sweetheart in the center of the lips. Let's try it. I'm just using my fingers to tap that in. I think that's kind of cute. I, I do feel like I ruined my lip line a little doing that, but oh well. <laughs> now I'm overlining the top lip to make up for it, but I feel like it's really getting out of control here. Uh-oh. Well, I normally don't overline the top lip nearly that much, but here we are. It's too late. <laughs> oh well. Okay, we're gonna assess the situation and I'm just gonna add a little more bronzer. And now we're gonna try out the final product in the collection, which is the setting spray. So this is called the All Set Setting Spray. This is $28. It says, set it and forget it with this super fine facial mist that primes, sets, conditions, and protects your look with a nourishing blend of oils and delivers a natural finish. So I guess I could have primed the face with this, but I didn't. I didn't know that was a possibility with this. So here's the packaging. It's really nice. It's a heavy duty plastic. Let's prime the pump. Ooh, it's a very fine mist. Okay, let's set the skin. Ooh, it smells really good. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and just press everything down. I loved how Jacqueline said that if she were to create a setting spray, it would be very dewy, but her mom wanted something that would really lock her makeup in place and prevent it from like settling into fine lines, things like that. So that's basically what this formula is supposed to do. I'm more of a lockdown setting spray kind of a girl. Um, I feel like my skin gets plenty dewy throughout the day, so I don't need to add too much. I don't really have that dry of skin. I have normal combination skin, so I usually stick with setting sprays that are really gonna lock down my makeup all day. That went on really nice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set the brows. And there you have it. That completes this look using this new Lux Legacy collection from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I love how this look turned out. I know it's a little bit more glam than, you know, what I'm going for right now in the springtime, but this collection is really, really pretty. And honestly, I feel like it might be one of their best collections since the blush collection. I always forget what it was called. Bougie Rouge, yeah. Bougie Rouge was like a hit for me. Everything in there I loved. And I feel like I feel the same about this collection. It's a very different vibe, obviously. These are very wearable, you know, day to night type products. I really thoroughly enjoyed everything that I tried. I will have to say though, the thing that I'm the most excited about is probably, oh my gosh, I really enjoyed everything. The eyeshadow primer was really nice. I'm gonna have to, you know, keep you posted on how I feel like it, you know, helps my eyeshadows stay put 
The eyeshadows applied beautifully on top of this. It's very different formula than any other eyeshadow primer that I've used in the past. So if you're somebody who wants an eyeshadow primer, but everything else has been too thick or gloopy or sticky feeling, try this out. I think it's a really, really cool, thin formula and I'm excited to see how it helps my eyeshadows wear. The palette was also gorgeous. I feel like this is such a lovely color scheme. It's obviously for like the everyday makeup kind of a gal, which, you know, all of us are, you know, there's a time and place for colors like this. And I can see myself reaching for it pretty often. It's interesting because when I was swatching it, I was kind of like, mm, underwhelmed by the feel, like the texture of the formula, but it applies beautifully with your fingertips onto the eyelids and with a brush. I love how they're buildable and so it's really foolproof. They kind of blend themselves out that way, which I love. So I'm excited about this too. The eyeliners were like so pretty. I love the colors. I think they're very different, very unique. I think I'm the most excited about the gray eyeliner just because it took me back a little bit. So really happy about those as well. The lipsticks I think are really pretty too. I'm definitely someone who's into a little bit more of a glossy lip. So you could totally apply a gloss on top of this. I just wanted to show you the finish by itself. It's a classic liquid lipstick. They do wear very well. Um, I love the lip liners for sure. My two favorite colors were the two deep shades, which were Sweetheart and Love. Those are the two that I feel like I will reach for and I think they're statements on their own. So I could really see myself reaching for these colors. When I wanna wear like a really pretty pink lip and I want it to last all day, I would definitely do a different eye look so that it didn't compete with each other. But I think they're so pretty. I love having the option of a more, you know, cool toned pink in my collection. The setting powder is beautiful. I'm so excited to see how this wears. If you have oily skin, it might have a little bit too much of a sheen for you, but I don't know yet. I'll be sure to leave a note in the description box down below, letting you know my first impressions by the end of the night tonight, just so you can see like if this made my skin look oily or if it balanced everything with a nice glow. But based off my first impression, I'm really, really excited to keep using this. It's it's very, it's a very nice powder. And then the setting spray, I don't know. It feels like my makeup is locked into place. I love the applicator. Guys, I'm just really excited about this entire collection. So if you're somebody who was intrigued by this, like I was, just know that it's really living up to my personal expectations. And I think it will for you guys as well. If I had to choose, I would definitely go for the powder, and the Sweetheart Lip Liner and Liquid Lipstick out of the entire collection, just because I think they're just that good. Um, everything was gorgeous. I really enjoyed everything. Oh, and the charcoal eyeliner for myself. The eyeshadow palette is really stunning. The setting spray, I truly enjoyed everything, but if I like had to choose only a couple things, that's what I would pick. I would love to hear in the comments down below what you guys think about this collection. Is it something that you're planning on picking up? If so, what products? I really feel like they did an amazing job with this and I'm excited to keep wearing it. I'm excited to see what sticks in my routine and I'm just loving how my face looks, how my eyes look today. So I feel really pretty in this collection. Thanks again to Jacqueline Cosmetics for sending me this PR package. I thoroughly enjoyed trying everything and I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it from me today. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.